Good morning. How's everyone? Happy Saturday, day eight, nine, ten, or whatever of lockdown. I hope you're well. Um, and uh, thanks for joining me again. I don't know where you are uh, in South Africa or in the world, but certainly if you're in Port Elizabeth, it's, it's going to be a scorcher of a day. So make sure you um, stay cool and drink lots of water. We've done our exercise this morning. We had to do it before the heat set in. So I'm very grateful about that. And um, and uh, I've been, I mean, it's becoming a bit of a, a ritual now after I've posted the morning's um, artwork, I'm already beginning to think what, um, what, uh, what do I, what next, which picture is most relevant? And so I, um, I had a conversation with my mentor or a good friend of mine who mentors me and coaches me, Jane Stevenson, who's amazing. And, um, we, we were just talking about those days when you absolutely have, um, you've got nothing you can't keep up with the joneses you can't fulfill even the simplest tasks nothing gets done and uh, as she described it you can just be overwhelmed with a sense of of loss and uh, it got to the point where we were discussing you know a lot of people in these um, lockdown days and in the pandemic days globally are going to uh, be out of work uh, or the work that they were doing is no longer going to be um, going to be able to pay the bills, and so all their identity was in maybe doing the job that they were doing. And uh, now that the job's gone, they having to dig deep to find out who they are. And uh, I think that's true for all of us. And those can be the most difficult and overwhelming and challenging um, questions to ask like what's the point why am i here but they're great questions i want to just encourage anyone that those are in my view the ones that uh, that bring the most life i've often i read somewhere that the <clears throat> the contemplation of death is the greatest motivation for living and that's absolutely true if we consider our mortality suddenly things fall into their right perspective and uh, and i think this is what this opportunity is giving us but there definitely is a sense of loss and a sense of, well, what do I believe? What's my purpose? And so the first uh, painting, I did it a long time ago after I heard this. It's probably an urban legend. You probably know it. But I heard this um, the story. I called this this painting Displacement. And, uh, and it refers to, um, well, let me tell you the story behind it. So there was once a, a tightrope walker and uh, he set up his rope across a major um, waterfall something similar to the niagara falls where any wrong foot would certainly be completely perilous and uh, and um, and so he set up this tightrope and he began to walk across it well before he started he said to the few crowd that had seen what he was doing and said do you think i can walk across this rope to the other side and they said yes we believe we believe you can and he did it he walked there and he walked back and the crowd were clapping and cheering him on and then um he said who of you believe that i can walk across this rope across this canyon but do it with a chair on my back and they all say yeah we believe we believe and they get back and they're clapping and the crowd is as grown exponentially now they they um they're looking for for uh for action and they foresee him actually making a terrible mistake anyway the crowd is huge by the time he asks who of you believe that i can walk across this rope across this canyon with a chair on my back and with someone in the chair and they all scream wildly we believe we believe you can and then he asks that simple but faithful question who will sit in the chair and uh, what I love about this is that it completely points to what I believe. It's kind of like, yes, I believe God can do this, or these are the things I believe, I believe, but do I actually live as if I believe them? And I, I found myself falling short numerous times saying, I believe that God is good. I believe he will provide. I believe he knows what's going on. I believe all those things, but my actions speak of... Uh, of uh, insecurity of trying to find a way trying to hustle trying to work things out in my own thinking instead of going to the architect of me and saying uh, i trust you in this moment and uh, and just show me what you're doing so that i can partner with that 
And I think a lot of people will um, will be finding themselves in those moments of um, what do we believe? What do we really believe? Are you willing to sit in the chair of, uh, of a circumstance and of a situation where you're out of control? And I want to commend to you faith in Christ because um, my testimony is that I was uh, gave my my life to Jesus, or He saved me in 1998, and um, and it's been a miracle of provision, of opportunity, of favor, of health, of um, peace, of joy for the last 20 odd years. Certainly not without incredible struggle. Certainly not without tears. But certainly there's grown within me a deeper security and uh, so that when a storm like this comes and I don't know how we'll get through it either but I have walked long enough in faith in the chair and seen the one carrying the chair be abundantly um, powerful and able to work out all these circumstances for good so that was the first um, painting I wanted to share and the second one um, is that sweet little picture of a let me just get it so you can see it right of a little girl and um, I called it do something brave and uh, hi Lindsay hi Charmaine and, um, and I just love this image it's a big charcoal drawing I it um, it was just really inspired by the courage of this little girl facing a swimming pool with her goggles on and ready to go and, uh, and so I just want to encourage you on this Saturday, whatever you're facing, just do one thing brave today, one thing brave, one thing that uh, that maybe is unfamiliar to you or phone the, someone who you haven't spoken to for a long time or uh, admit your weakness to someone who you maybe um, instead of, you know, I mean, I was just thinking about he, the person who is most willing to show their weakness is actually the strongest. And uh, and that's always struck me. A friend of mine, Pete Gosman, once shared that with me, that those who are willing to be vulnerable, show their weakness, are actually those who are most strong. So uh, let's be brave, be strong in this together, and, um, and go for it. Do something brave today. Thanks so much for watching. All of these are mini prints. Um, they are slowly being um, populated onto my website. So in due course, you'll be able to order them online. And in due course, they'll be able to be delivered. Uh, so keep that in mind. And obviously, artists always appreciate your support. Thanks for watching. And uh, we will see you tomorrow, more or less the same time. If you have any questions, uh, please just uh, pin them to me. And I'll happily get back to you. Thanks a lot. Ciao.